Let us continue to meditate about this triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the 50 years after her apparition in Fatima. An outstanding example of the influence of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the life is the great Pope Pius XII. 특히 비오 12세 교환님 시대에 가장 큰 수리를 It was very important for him then because on the 13th of May 1917, when Our Lady appeared in Fatima, he was in Rome ordained bishop. Therefore, she he followed the events of Fatima with the greatest interest. And received with a great enthusiasm the message that Our Lady wants uh, to have the devotion to Immaculate Heart established. And when the Second World War was at its worst, he decided to answer the request of Our Lady and consecrate the world to her Immaculate Heart and the Church. Often we, in our prayer books, uh, we have this act of consecration, we pray it a lot because it's really a very, very beautiful, profound act of consecration. This was the first official answer from Rome to Our Lady's request in Fatima. And it's thanks to this consecration that the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the message of our Father Fatima spread now all over the world. He asks the priests, the bishops, uh, and each uh, responsible to consecrate the parish, the diocese, in that way with the Immaculate Heart. And from the same moment on, in spite of the Second World War and its disastrous consequences, in spite of the spreading of communism and Freemasonry, the Church has seen a renewal never before after that. 
군산주의가 너무 큰 힘을 가지고 가지고 있었기 있어라도 어, 이거 프리메이슨도 힘이 가지고 또 가지고도 천주교회는 옛날에 또 산산 없는 정도 활용 음, 그 활을 어, 잘 됐습니다. Three years afterwards, he established the feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary as a feast of second class on the 22nd of August. 그리고 그 홍홍홍 그 인형 그 어, 손모 하자신 손님의 참내 날도 8월 21일로 정각하게 그 세우셨습니다. In the next years, in all his speeches, encyclicals, or letters, he refers to Our Lady. Her Immaculate Heart as the symbol of her title and dignity as a matrix of all graces. 그리고 그 후에 그 해직 그리고 많은 강론 그 말씀 그, 그 메시지에서 손모 하지 없인 손심은 무엇인가? 그 손모님의 모든 특권들이 여기에 다 있다라는 것을 많이 말씀하셨습니다. 1947, he canonizes Guignol uh, <웃음> de Montfort and makes the treaties of the true devotion, the holy slavery, uh, known all over the world. In 1947, in the same year he canonizes St. Catherine Labouré and gives through that to the devotion of the miraculous medal and you a really great renewal. In the same time, he doesn't hesitate to condemn all these dangerous influences of the enemies of the church. He condemns a false uh, liturgical renewal. He condemns the, the ecumenical movement. Ecumenical movement. And afterwards, in a great short encyclical, the whole neo modernism. 1950 is certainly the, the, the golden year of Pius XII. It's the holy year during which he proclaims the last, until now, proclaimed dogma of faith, of the assumption of Our Lady into heaven with body and soul. In his messages, in radio messages, especially in elocutions, often he comes back to Our Lady of Fatima and all the wonderful mm -hmm. victories she obtains in all coins of the world. 그리고 특히 라디오 메시지에서 많은 교훈을 말씀하시고 그, 그 속에서 파티마의 선모님 얘기를 많이 하셨습니다. It is the moment when in the church the Marian movements are at the top of their development. 그 시대에는 선모 운동이 천주교에서 가장 큰그 그, 최고 좀 점점 점점까지 갔습니다. Particularly the Legion of Mary, Legio Maria, Maria Kun, the well-known to your Blue Army, the Blue Army, and Blue and the Militia Immaculata, the Knights of the Immaculata, and many others. 
So he explains himself that all the blessings uh, we have received from heaven in all these years in spite of the overwhelming majority of enemies is only due to the special intervention of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. 숫자로서는 공산주의 그 그림에서는 더 많이 썼지만 그러나 천주교 그, 그 힘이 가졌지만 그러나 천주교에서 그래서는 성모님을 독특한 도움을 받으면서 진짜 금 운동이 있었습니다. 그 신심이 있었습니다. He even consecrates Russia to her Immaculate Heart, but only in a private ceremony and not asking anybody to join. 그 교원님은 러시아를 개인적으로는 공언하셨습니다. Now there is a very tragic moment in his life. Since 1952, there is a turn in Pius XII's uh, uh, and I will speak about that afterwards. Now we let us go back to the triumph of our Lady of Fatima all over the world. This begins during the Second World War, the so-called World Tour of Our Lady of Fatima. The statue of Our Lady of Fatima visits first of all the surrounding countries, Spain, Italy and France. And in each of these countries, you remember it's the end of the Second World War and all the terrible times afterwards. Now look what happens, it's just, you couldn't believe it if it's not just historical proof. In France, it was decided that the Virgin, Our Lady, will go through the whole <coughs> France, visiting 16,000 parishes in five years. It was always the same thing during the day. It was a pilgrimage on foot with Our Lady from one parish to the other. Gathering immense processions. But the arriving in the in in the in the village or in the town, uh, there was a solemn welcome to our lady. With, with religious ceremonies who lasted the whole night. The famous light processions, conferences, uh, theater plays of our Our Lady of Fatima, and of course the solemn mass, and especially the consecration of that place to the Immaculate Heart. And next morning, the Our Lady was taken for the next parish. <coughs> During 60 months, relates the, the, the responsible Father Devino, that what was called the Grand Retour, the Great Return of France to the Faith through Mary. Uh, 
돌아가시고 프랑스 국민들이 다 존중의 신앙으로 돌아왔다 또 합니다. During 60 months, every day, when Our Lady went about 40 to 50 missionaries who spent the nights normally the whole time in the confessional. 소모님은 그 소모님과 더불어 40이나 50명 사제와 같이 그 연결 그 순례 가시는데 똑같이 가시는데 그 사제들을 다 고백소사로 그, 그, 해야 하겠습니다. It was an incredible wave of conversions. 그 개종하는 사람 수치가 너무 많았어. And then, of course, go coming back to the church. Uh, one miraculous, uh, miraculous, um, uh, let me say, confessions after many years. 그리고 오랫동안의 고백 선서도 안 보지도 않는 또 사람들이 갑자기 고백 선서 보고 싶다. 그 그렇기 때문에 뭐 그, 존주교 떠나고 있었던 냄당한 자들이 많이 돌아왔습니다. I have heard myself from the foundress, the first superior. Of the Dominican sisters of Franjo. 저는 그 프랑스의 프랑조 그랑 그 도미니코의 수녀회가 있고 그, 그 수녀회를 세우신 총립자의 수녀님의 말씀을 듣는 것은 기억합니다. And she told me she, she died in the in the meanwhile, Anne Marie Simula. She died, and she told me when she was a young girl, she remembers this coming of Our Lady. 수녀님 안마리 시무나 수녀님이시지만 그 어릴 때 손모 손상이 그 술래 하시는 것은 보는 것은 기억한다고 하셨습니다. And in that moment when she saw that, the first idea of a, of going to serve God came to her mind. 그 손모님 손 파지마 손모님 본다 그 순간에 아 나는 수녀가 되겠다. And thanks to this enthusiasm for the Immaculate of Mary, only from this family, three girls and one man, one brother, became three sisters and one priest. And the priest is our priest, Father Zimulan. But in that family, three men became priests, two sons became priests, and the son became a priest. A similar event happened in Spain. Spain do katum pisatan iri ino ino nasumira. Here our lady went several times. Spain eso so many people on kasusumira. Can when you read the stories of Don Alonso and of the specialists about Fatima, you can just you can just believe it. Alonso simply because as he mentioned to ilo gomio midus omnen got. The Archbishop of Fatima wrote that never, never such a thing has thing has been seen in Madrid. Fatima의 대주교의 기록 말씀 들으면 마드리드란 대소 도시, 스페인 대도시에 이런 것이 결코 인소적이 없었다고 합니다. The parish priests of the suburbs told me that over forty percent of the people asked to go to confession had not done so for fifteen, twenty, thirty years. Forty percent. 그리고 그그 교우 본다 소교부에 있는 본 본당에 있는 교우들의 사십 프로가 사십 년, 사 삼십 년 동안에 고백 선서 아 보지 않았었지만 갑자기 보고 싶다고 왔다고 합니다. In 1953, the head of the state, General Franco, made a consecration of his country to the Immaculate Heart, which is absolutely deep and outstanding. It's really one of the most beautiful consecrations for Our Lady made by a head of state ever. 그 1953년 그 국가 원수가 그 그때는 프랑코 장군은 소모 어아 파치마의 소모님 하지 않습니까? 이렇게 프랑 아, 스페인을 봉헌했습니다. 이거 이 봉헌은 그 소모님께 아, 한 봉헌 속에서 가장 중요한 것입니다. We speak about conversions, the country which was 
mostly, let me say, touched by the presence and the visit of Our Lady was America. 특히 어머님께서 그 가신 그 용량력이 큰 것은 보이는 것은 미국입니다. It was in 1947, the 8th of December, that Our Lady passed from Canada to the uh, United States via the near Niagara Falls. 1947년 22월 22월 8월 8일 캐나다에서 나야가라를 통하여 미국으로 미국으로 가셨습니다. Now the Catholics in the United States were very much afraid about this visit. 그런데 그 미국에 있었던 전주교 신자들은 교우들은 무서워 어떻게 될지 몰랐었어 무서웠어. Because the United States, by law, is a liberal state. Where all religions are welcome, but no religion is allowed to, let me say, to, to try to convert the others. So the, 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 the message of of our lady is just a message of conversion. 그러나 파티마의 메시지는 개종의 메시지였습니다. And the bishops were afraid not to be maybe scolded or punished by the government, so they kept the visit of our lady very very discreet. 그렇기 때문에 주교님께서 그 총부가 안다면 아마 천주교회가 그 해를 받을까봐 그 볼 받을까봐. 너무 무서워서 선모님 파치마 순례를 강추했습니다. 그 그렇게 좀 얘기하지 않았어요. So they didn't want to make processions. They would receive our lady only within the churches. 그렇기 때문에 선모 행위를 하지 않고 그냥 선모님 성당에서 많이 방영하겠습니다. The world's first church they visited was was welcome for the Cathedral of Buffalo. 그리고 소모님께서 처음에 가신 성당은 바파로의 주교자 성당. So this cathedral contains about this big cathedral about 5000 people. 그, 그 주교자 성당에서 5천 명 들어갈 수 있습니다. The whole diocese counts about 50000 Catholics. 근데 그런데 바파로 대주교는 5만 명만 전주교 신자가 있습니다. So without advertisement, without publicity, how many people came to this event? So, of course, 5,000 within the cathedral and 195,000 outside. 주교자 성당 성당 속에 있는데 어 19명 5천 명은 밖에 있었습니다. So it was everywhere. Wherever she came. 그러니까 모든 사람이 소문이 계시죠. 무슨 그런 것을 다 알아줬습니다. And basically the majority of these people must be non-Catholics. 근데 대부분 전주교 신자가 아니었습니다. Because the country didn't count so much. 왜 그러면 그 박사로 대주교에 그렇 그렇게 많은 전주교 신자가 없기 때문입니다. So in spite of non-processions, uh, the thing became more public than in other places. The whole, the whole city was occupied with the pilgrims, which is here. And that happened in all big cities in the, in the states. <laughs> and now after this, the great uh, father Monsignor Colgan, seconded by John Heffert, the great journalist, they founded the Blue Army of Our Lady of Fatima. And this is the only <coughs> Marian movement founded in the United States which had this missionary spirit to try to convert the dissidents. 
그, 그 미국에서 그 세운 그, 그 운동 하나 운동 유일하게 개정을 시키겠다는 운동이었습니다. And the, the results were just impossible to understand. The results were every year more than 150,000 conversions only through the Marian movements to our to, to the Catholicism. 근데 그 마리아 운동 그 파치마의 부두 군대를 통하여 해마다 15만 15만 명그 그 어른이들이 전주교로 들어왔습니다. 1959 the blue army counts not less than 15 million members. 아, 그리고 그, 그, 15 million, 1959. 1959년에 브루군대는 1,500명 회원을 간 있었습니다. You see, what our lady does, just her statue. 그냥 손모, 파치마 손모상이 무엇인가? 아, a simple silent statue of Our Lady of Fatima comes from place to place. 말도 하시지 않는 그냥 손모상이 그 가슴에 가한 담에 기적들이 일어났습니다. But the statue surrounded by people who take her seriously. 그런데 그 손모상 주위에 손모님을 사랑하고 손모님에 대한 신심을 하는 사람들이 교우들이 있었습니다. Do exactly what our lady asked them to do. God wants to use you to make me known and loved. 손모님께서 그제 말씀하시기를 주님께서 너를 써요 쓰시고 내내 알게 되고 사랑되기를 원하신다. And then it goes into the world. All countries of the world receive the visit of Our Lady of Fatima. Incredible miracles which happen. Austria, for instance, thanks to the visit of Our Lady of Fatima, is delivered from the Russian troops which occupied Austria until 1955. Russia, Austria, 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 Russia, 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 we will not, we will not succeed. Pray Our Lady, pray the Rosary, Rosary. Give, give for us to, to Our Lady of Fatima. 그때 수상이었던 오스트리아의 수상했던 호프라는 사람이 피그라는 사람은 그 모스크바로까지 가서 그 어떻게 하면 그 해방 받을 수 있을까를 그 얘기하는데 할수 없었습니다. In a, in a completely unexpected way, suddenly Russia, the Soviet Union decided to retract the, the troops and deliver Austria. The decree was signed on the 13th of May. Fiegel himself claims that it's, it's a miracle of Our Lady of Fatima. So one of these uh, great uh, visits of Our Lady of Fatima, I may I have told you, I tell it all the time, I'm another witness about such an event. When I came to Gabon as a young missionary, we received the visit of one of the bishops. And this bishop wanted to visit the sons of Archbishop Lefebvre because he is himself a student of Archbishop Lefebvre and had it in a great esteem. 
그때, 그때 그, 그 가본의 주교님 어떤 주교님께서 루페블데 주교님의 제자들을 애, 아기 어, 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 자녀들을 보고 싶다고 그 우리를 찾아 오셨습니다. This bishop, his name is Zia Kobamba. He was sitting here for a tea, and when the conversation ran out, he's a modern bishop. I had the, the, the good idea to ask him, Excellency, what is the greatest event in your life? But the Sugyonim name is Siriaco Bamba, Immediately replied, it was the visit of the statue of Our Lady of Fatima when I was parish priest in Lambaren. The Lambarene was one of the headquarters of the Protestants in the country. Only 20% Catholics and many animists, pagans. 그리고 많은 그 미신자, 그, 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 그 외교자. Now our lady arrives the same way. The, the parish brings our lady to the parish border. The parish of Lambarene receives her, and the little group of faithful bring our lady to the town. 파치마 그, 소모상이 람바레네 마을에 왔고, 어, 그, 그, 그 교우들은 소모님을 방영했습니다. Already stays 15 days in Lambarene and the surroundings. Every evening, says the bishop, the people came. They came from all sides. We didn't know who is that. They were all mostly Protestants or pagans to sing on honor of our lady. The churches of the Protestant Protestants were empty. And the Protestant pastors would come to that place in order to ask you, don't participate, go away from this from these Catholics. But their voices were not heard, but immediately when one of these pastors started to shout, one of the priests started to sing da 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 and everybody sang with all the strength. 그러나 목사님이 어떻게 말해도 그, 그 그렇게 말할 그, 하자마자 그 시민님께서 성님께 아베 아베라고 하고 그 사람들이 다 노래하기 때문에 목소리도 안 들립니다. And you must have been in Gabon yourself when you want to see how they sing. 근데 그 사람들이 어떻게 노래하 부르는가를 가본에 가시 합니다. In our church in Christmas. We are, we are afraid that the walls fall down about this great singing. It's often the pious yelling. <laughs> the bishop with tears in his eyes told us, I have never been able to understand that. In this year, the number of baptism of candidates to be baptized to convert to Catholic Church was ten times more than ever before. But, 
있다고 합니다. The number of the faithful, the Catholics in this in this area, uh, increased from 20 to 50 percent of the population. 근데 소모님께서 오시 오시자마자 20불로 있었던 전주교 신자가 50%로 조가했습니다. This is one parish in the African jungle. One, you can imagine what happens with all the others. 이것은 아프리카 어떤 장굴 속에 있었던 조그마한 마을 어리였습니다. 그런데 다른 나라에서 어떻게 소문님께서 생각을 그 상상하실 수 있겠죠? So we can really state that the great renewal, the comeback of the Catholic faith and the fervor of the Catholics is due to maybe 90 percent to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, to Our Lady of Fatima, and her mission tour all over the world. Unfortunately, <laughs> these had not a long, a long life. Because, first of all, if you do such things, you can make the people very quickly enthusiastic. But the big people afterwards, as the enemies do not sleep, will fall back very quite quickly. Therefore, especially the great Marian movements I spoke about, they were occupied to make a follow-up, to let Our Lady perpetually be the queen of all these people who now converted. But now we must see what happened afterwards, after these 50 years. Now during all these years, uh, there were immense claims and expectations from all these people all over the world. And the claim was the waiting of the the, uh, the, 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 the revelation of the third secret, which had been to uh, had to be re released in 1916. <coughs> and the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart. So at the eve of 1916, <coughs> the whole world was in an incredible expectation to get the third secret released. <coughs> but in the meanwhile, something happened, something terrible. <coughs> There was an attack on Fatima. And the attack on Fatima came from one man. And this was a Jesuit. A Belgian Jesuit, which name is Edouard Danis. And this man was a hidden modernist. And afterwards, open models. Because it was one of the orders of the heretical Holland uh, Dutch Catechism. But as he was in those times the rector of the Gregorian University in Rome, Gregorio Gregorian 
And he was a big friend of the modernist clique which governs the Second Vatican Council. These great experts like Karl Rahner, Lubac, and, the, and, the, and, the, and those people. He was promoted as the expert of Fatima in Rome. 그러므로 파치마의 전문가로서 어, 프로모션 받았어요. In fact, he started to explain his these theories already in 1945. Then his thesis was discussed and was absolutely clarified that it is just one big fake, one big stupidity. What he said. 그러나 by the 12th, in the beginning, he also uh, contacted this man. He doesn't want to hear his stories. And what was his thesis? We must distinguish between Fatima 1 and Fatima 2. Fatima 1 is the true Fatima. That is the story of 1917. What we know from the the examinations and the and the, 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 the let me say the what is the, the questioning of the children and what has written in those times about Fatima and has been gathered together in the approval encyclic uh, in approval letter by the Bishop of the area in 1930. <laughs> What we was originally in 1930 was not so much about Fatima. It was just a proof that Fatima is authentic uh, 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 apparition of Our Lady by the bishop. Then he speaks, he quotes the several words he has heard from the children uh, uh, he, uh, the bishop uh, of Leiria uh, uh, you know the big children they explained afterwards what our lady say expect what except what they were not allowed to say the children explained to the priests to the people around after 1917 what our lady said, and it was written down, but but not many things they didn't say because our lady didn't allow it. Ah, uh, and the bishop, in his uh, letter to approval, he relates especially about the great miracle of the sun. <coughs> what we know about Fatima, what's the whole truth about Fatima, are the memories of Sister Lucy. She wrote from 1936. <laughs> And here especially the great secret of Fatima. So 
And now Tani said, what comes out of the letters of the mouth of Sister Lucy is Fatima too. 그런데 다니 친구는 그 루치아의 수기는 파티마 이라고 합니다. It is in fact not true. 파티마 이는 거짓말이다. It is the fantasies of the sister who is a little bit simple and a little bit uh, idiot and uh, mix up the things. 그 파, 에, 루치아 수는 그 그냥 좀 너무 나탄순하고 다그 그. 그냥 그 상상으로서 만드는 것이고 <웃음> 루치아 소년이 말하는 것이 모든 것이 진짜가 아니고 그냥 그 바보스러운 그 그냥 그 머리도 좀 모자라는 것이다. And therefore, nothing about consecration of Russia, nothing about the third secret, nothing about the vision of hell. All these is an invention, a pious invention of Sister Lucy. So forget about it. 그렇기 때문에 이것은 그 파티마의 비밀, 지옥의 비전, 그리고 그 러시아에 보호한다라는 것은 모자란 루치아가 그냥 상상하는 것이기 때문에 그것은 잊어버릴 수 있다. And now the Bishop of Fatima invites Father Dennis, but please at least come, look to the archives and speak with Sister Lucy. 그런데 그러, 그렇기 때문에 그, 그 파티마의 주견이 아니다. 주교님, 아, 신부님, 단위 신부님, 어, 파티마 오십시오. 우리 시스타 루지아와 얘기하십시오. 그 진짜인데, 그 확인하십시오라고 초대했습니다. Up to his death, Danis refuses to go there and to speak with his sons. 그러나 단위 신부는 죽을 때까지 결코 루지아도 얘기하지 않고 만나기도 않고 파티마까지 가는 것을 거부했습니다. And there he would have found, he knows it very well, there are clear documents which state really that these things are not invented by Sister Lucy. Now the great specialists of Fatima in those times, they take the arguments of Father Dennis and write him back and just explain him how he's wrong and ask him to 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 answer to their objections which he never does 그렇기 때문에 참된 파티마의 전문가 파티마를 잘 걷는 신부님들은 다니스 신부께 반응합니다 아 신부님 이렇게 하시지만 아닙니다 왜 그러면 그렇게 왜왜 왜 그러면 그런 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 때문입니다 그 대답하십시오 그러나 다니스 신부는 답 하나도 안 합니다 but because Danis is the great friend of those who will become the great leaders of Vatican II, his thesis will be received. 그러나 그런 잘못한 그 논문이라도 논문이라도 그 가설라도 다니스 친구는 현대주의자들이 많은 친구가 있었기 때문에 이것은 인정받습니다. Pius XII in the beginning was against. Pio XII 교황님은 처음에는 반대, but at the end of his pontificate, he seems to have been blind before him. 그러나 마지막에서는 그 다니스 친구의 설명을 듣는 것 같습니다. And that what is very catastrophic is 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 is, is the fact that Pius XII, in that moment when he retracts from Fatima, and in the last years will not mention Fatima with one word. 그렇기 때문에 그, 그 순간부터 옛날에는 많은 그 메시지 속에서 파지마의 얘기 많이 하셨지만 갑자기 파지마는 파도, 파도 어, 없어졌습니다. But we will also stop speaking about the great truth of our lady, especially the mediatrix of our grace and Rukhara Dantes. We will not mention it anymore. 예, 옛날에 그 하셨던 그 손모님께서 모든 손종의 중계자 그리고 그 선모님, 예, 선모님 그, 그 예수 그리스도와 혼동 그, 그 구속자라는 것도 하지 않았어, 안 하게 됐습니다. No word anymore about the devotion to immaculate heart and consecration. 그리고 하지 없이 손심에 대한 그 신심 그리고 봉하기 하신은 또 없어졌습니다. You could ask how was that? What happens? 뭐 because this is not only Fatima 
but it is also the whole strength of Catholic, of the Catholic traditional um, uh, uh, teaching of Mary, which is abandoned by him now. One answer could be that in 1949 he chose a Jesuit, a German Jesuit, Augustin Beer, as his uh, spiritual father, as his confessor. And this man happens to be a great ecumenist. He is the leader of the relation between Catholics and Protestants in Germany. And once the Protestant, you know, the ecumenism, be promoted <coughs> in the church. Ecumenical